We are Will and Lily, and we've both quit our jobs to embark on a three month trip in our van, travelling from the UK to Switzerland, Italy, and Greece. The van in question is a 2012 medium wheelbase Mercedes Sprinter, bought in April 22. We spent four months converting the van ready for the trip, and here's our second leg through northern Italy. Where are we? St. Bon Pass. At the top? At the top, between Switzerland and Italy. 2,005 metres high. Bloody lovely. Got some curry. And a drink. And the view. If you listen carefully, you might be able to hear the cows with the bells. Hello. Goodbye. We are walking from a park for night spot. On the road, which is a little bit dark. It's quite a speedy, zippy road. Yeah. It's a little bit worrying. We're doing a 45 minute walk down towards Stressa. Yeah. And Lake Maggiore. That puts us right where apparently boats do go out to the islands. Yeah. That's where we're heading. Gonna have a walk around the lake, explore, get on a boat, go to the islands. Having some lunch, some cheese that we got from the supermarket yesterday. Yeah. Fresh bread with a nice view over here. We have driven from our park for night spot to Madonna del Sasso. It is a sanctuary on the top of a cliff with a big view of Lake Water. After driving from Madonna del Sasso to the park for night spot at Lake Orta, we had a swim in the lake before cycling into Orta San Giulio. We locked our bikes against a railing in the main square before exploring the rest of the town on foot. in traffic going through Genoa
so we just had our first overnight stay in an agri camper location we'll downloaded the agri camper app which means you can stay in italy at different vineyards and farms who have put themselves forward as a location um, don't know too much about it yet, but the first night stay was definitely a success. One night free. Yeah, so the first night was free and had access to showers, which were really nice, Wi Fi, and there was a pool that you could pay for if you wanted to for, yeah, five, six, I think, six euros, and electricity. So, yeah, it was really nice, um, but we've got plans to move towards. Tinker Terra, so we just stayed the one night. We made it to Rio Maggiore and just got off the train station and are walking along this path along the coast. are on the walk to Manarola, the next town. It is very, very warm and there is a very steep climb ahead. We're at the top of the climb. After two busy days in Chingaterra, we decided to head back to Labalanda, the agri camper site, for some rest and relaxation by the pool to recharge before heading to Tuscany. Thank you for watching the second leg of our European van life adventure. Stay tuned for part three, where we take on Tuscany and central Italy.